If walking Garmin is tough, siblings Rex and Sophia are a nightmare. Frank only walks them once or twice a month. I feel guilty not taking out Rex and Sophia for a walk because I, I know for a fact that they need their exercise. What happens when they see other dogs? Um... Can you hold them back? Yeah, I can, I can. I just have to... <laughs> Rex! That was intense. And can you imagine Elaine doing that? Oh, no, she couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I couldn't take both of these dogs for a walk by myself. No way. They'd, they'd drag me. I don't need to go to the gym. No, you don't. Not with those two dogs. Rex and Sophia, you walking them, it was a joke. Those dogs were walking you. Hey! Ugh. I thought, this is dangerous. I've never seen somebody sweat so much walking those and dogs. I feel it on my shoulders oh, right now. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yes. If I walked those two dogs together, I think they would have pulled my shoulders out of my sockets. And I know it's a result of not walking them as a puppies. But I also think there's an incredible frustration. And that's why Rex barks all the time. He's not barking mm. for attention. He's barking for something to do. Mm. They're German sure. Shepherds. They're working dogs. Mm -hmm. I know. They need to work. They need to have that amazing, intelligent mind stimulated. Now she wants to address the problems with both German Shepherd mixes. First of all, I'd like to ask you, how much training have you done with Rex and Sophia? Uh, no. Zero. Not. Zero. Rex and Sophia are three years old. No wonder both dogs don't listen to them when they're out on a walk. There is no communication between them or their dogs at all. The only way that you're going to be able to control Rex out on the street is if you start doing some obedience training here. Just very basic. All I want to teach Rex is to sit on command. Rex, come here. Good boy. See what I mean? He's not, he's not comfortable, so he's barking at me. I'm going to stand with my side body to him so I'm less threatening. Rex! Frank and Elaine's lack of training with Rex is going to make Victoria's job much harder. When I started to try and engage him, he was turning his head, he was turning his eyes away from me, he was hiding behind Frank and Elaine's legs, he was backing away, he was coming up to bark, backing away again. This is one unconfident dog. Good boy! Now when I asked him to come to me, he didn't bark at me. And then when he came up and got the treat, he didn't bark at me afterwards. <laughs> Rex! Go get it! Oh, good boy! Unlike most dogs, Rex isn't food motivated. He prefers tennis balls. Ready? Good boy! He sat. He's gonna get the ball. Now it's Frank's turn. Ask him to sit. Sit. Good. Don't let him have it. Put the ball on the ground, and he's not allowed to have the ball out of your hands until he lies down. Good. Now give it Good to him. Boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Wow. This is called catching a behavior. Okay. No point in telling him to lie down because he doesn't know what down right, means. Right. Uh-huh. So, get that ball, put it on the ground, wait for him to lie down. Good boy, he gets the ball. Next time he does it, as he's in the process of uh -huh. lying down, say down. Down, OK. OK. Down, good boy. Fabulous. Even though Rex is an unconfident dog, I see huge potential in him. He learned the down command in two minutes. Oh my gosh, what this dog could do with just a little bit of confidence. Do this three times a day for five minutes. Don't do it too much, because then the dog gets bored and doesn't learn. You're smart, and you're not barking at me. Victoria advances the training by taking Rex for a walk. Now, if he starts to react in any way, I want you just to turn in the other direction. Mm -hmm. This is OK, walking. Sniffing is important. Let's go. When he reacts like that, I take him back. Mm -hmm. Any reaction sends me in the other way. Right. If he pulls, let's go. Let's go. Elaine, just take him for now. OK. Here. Well, if he's pulling you, turn, turn around. Let's go. Don't oh. yank him. Now again, turn around. That's it. Rex. Let's go. That's it. Good boy. 
So it's a let's go, uh -huh. positive, happy. Energy. Make him sit. Rex, Rex, sit. See how I don't listen to you? Because then we're in an environment where there are too many distractions. To regain Rex's focus, Victoria takes charge. We go. I'm walking at a quick pace. Uh -huh, so that he is distracted. So he's in the zone with me uh -huh. now. He's looking at you for confidence. Ah, oh, another dog. Let's go. Let's go. As soon as he saw that other dog, his hackles went up. From the neck to the very tip of his tail, the hair raised. So the best thing that I could have done in that situation was to get Rex out of there. We have a long road ahead with Rex. Both Rex and Sophia are very reactive when they're outside on the leash. From now on, you have to walk these two dogs separately. Because both together, it's virtually impossible to get their focus. I want to get Sophia focusing a little bit on you and working just very, very simple basic stuff so that you can use it when you're out on the street. I'll show you what I mean. Sophia, always a good girl. And this is just a simple focus command that gets her attention onto you. All right? Sophia, come. Sit. Good girl. Sophia, watch me. Good girl. Sophia, watch me. Good girl. Could you just do that with her? Of course. Sophia. Sit. Sophia. Well, Sophia. Sophia! Your dogs are so used to doing that. I want the dogs focused, looking at you, excited, happy. Right, what am I going to do next? <laughs> and German Shepherd Lab Mixer should be like that. So, um, let's try and get her back in. Sophia! Sophia! Come here, Sophia! Sophia! Sophia, sit. Watch me. Good girl! Good. Watch me. Good girl! Good. It works in here, but in an environment out there, it's a totally different story. Let's take her outside. Out here, you don't have her attention. This is what you do, you wait. Sophia, sit. Good girl, lie down, good girl. Good girl, okay, let's go, good girl. Do it again. Okay, now. Wait for her till you get her attention. Let's just wait. Good girl. Let's go. Okay, next this time, way. Frank, I want you to have her facing you. Uh -huh. You put your body in front of her. Okay. Okay. Put your body in front of her. She's blowing you off again. She has no focus whatsoever on Elaine and Frank stands to reason they haven't done any training with her. You can do that all day long. Good. Good girl. Oh, good girl. That's it. You've got her focus. For this dog, that's what it's going to take. <laughs> How did that feel for you when she finally went? <laughs> that feels very good. <laughs> it is possible with one dog at a time. Two dogs at a time, impossible, until you get both dogs Good working for you by themselves. Welcome. Hey, George. How's it going? Come on in. <laughs> you see, no, no dog. No barking dog. No barking dog. Frank's business partner comes over to work. Rex, sit. As Frank focuses on business, ah! Elaine and Rex have their first walk ever together. Good boy, Rex. I'm so cyclist. Good boy. Good boy, Rex. I could go walking again sometime real soon. Good job, Elaine. You see, it's not so daunting when you put your mind to it. Good boy, Rex. There is some more training that I want to do with you and your dogs, so follow me. All right. Okay? <laughs> I wanted to take Frank and Elaine outside to work with Rex because Rex still needs them lot of help on his focus issues. It's also great to be able to take Frank and Elaine outside to work together because they are arguing too much. Get them consistent and on the same page. That's the only way the dogs will learn. With this dog, 
If you just do a formal training, you get him to come and sit in front of you with a ball and then down, it's boring. Mm. So I think we have to move it. Mm -hmm. Throw the ball to me. Okay. Now don't let him get it until you say he's ready to get it. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. See? Now, Frank, let, let's play that game again. Mm -hmm. at, at a time where you feel comfortable, I want you to make him sit, then I want you to make him down. Let's see. OK, let's try. What's that? Sit. Good. Down. Good boy. Now he's focusing on you. Mm -hmm. Now he's looking at you. Now he's doing stuff for you. He's working for you. That's fantastic. How, how do you feel with him just doing that? I love it. I love it. I can't wait to do more. Down. Good boy. Rex seems a lot more focused now. We just need to keep walking him, getting him more socialized. It's actually a pleasure to walk with him. 